Hi everybody, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you how to change or reset the combination on a Supra push button combination lock box. These are little lock boxes or mini safes that you can hide a spare key in and you can uh, get access to that spare key by putting in a combination code. Uh, once you have it off, or if you buy a new house that has one of these, um, you'll want to know how to reset it to personalize your code. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. Here's a close-up of the unit while it's in place. And you can see it's got numbers uh, 1 through 9 with a 0, so 10 digits you can put on here. Uh, you have an open button once you put in the code you select, or a clear if you make a mess up. Um, it's really a locking safe that you can hide anywhere in the house or an exterior of the house to keep an extra key or very small valuables. So today I know the code. I programmed a fake code just for this video. So let's put in 1, 2, 3, 4, and then I'm going to hit open. And it pops open. And once on the inside, you can see there's a little hook there to put a key in there for whatever you need. A car key, house key, boat key, whatever you need. Now let's go inside and I'll show you how to reset the key. Or the combination. Okay, here we are in the studio with a close-up of this little safe, this combination push button lock box, basically a micro safe. General Electric makes these, and this is the Supra S6. Now, one important thing to know, you have to have the existing combination in order to change a combination. So either you bought it new in a store and lost your directions but have the combination, or you bought a new home or just came across this second hand, but you already have the combination you want to change it for your own well that's what we can help you with today so you flip it over first and usually you have this hard plastic covering here and that hides a bunch of set screws so I'm going to try to peel this off no luck so I'm going to get something to help me pry it off my handy dandy dangerous little razor here to get under that okay got a grip on it slide it out there we go. So I slid it off. This thing is hard plastic, not quite credit card hard, but pretty hard. And it has a little screwdriver on one tip. Now if you look closely at the back of this, it has a bunch of little arrows that are on these. And I'll try to get real close so you can see. See the top arrows? One, two, three, four. Are facing to the right those are on. I had all the others set to the left. So none of the other buttons, 5 through 0, are selected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn these guys back to off 180 degrees until they pop back up. And if you don't have this little thing you can use a screwdriver. But now they're all set to their facing left, so they're all off, meaning none are selected. So if I can, I can press these all day, and it's not going to open. But let's say I'm just going to change the combination to one single thing. I'm going to be 9. So I'm going to take the 9, get it so the arrow on 9, which is printed on the head of that screw, faces to the right. So the combination should be 9. I'm going to flip this over and just press 9. And I heard it click, and watch this top silver piece. When I hit open, it lets me in. So I can put it in the box now, lock it in, and when I let go, only by pressing the number 9 will it let me in. 9, open. Okay, it's set to an incredibly complex combination of the number 9. Then you just slide this thing back on. And you're ready to go. If you go up to the lockbox and want to open it up and hit 2 and whoop, that's not it. Hit clear. It'll pop it out. Let's go test this outside to make sure I'm not lying to you. Alright, I put this back in place off the camera because I needed one more hand that I didn't have. So it's up there now. I can clear all I want. There goes a firework. It's around the 4th of July here. Uh, what I say? It was 9. So I'll try to put 5 in. Doesn't work. 1. Doesn't work. I'll clear it. Let's try 9. Press 9, and it opens up. So there you go, folks. That's how simple it is. The combination is now set to 9. Of course, I'm going to change it as soon as I change this video. But if you ever have somebody who gets the combination and you don't want them to have it, you can simply go in and set a new one in about 2 or 3 minutes. So that's how difficult, or how easy, rather. Put the 9 back in so I can load it. That's how easy it is. <laughs> 
can't do it with one hand, to change the combination on a S6 Supra push button combination safe. Hey, I hope this helps. Please like, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.